So I guess we have the first question coming up in from one of the one of the IJ students. Okay, so if for those who cannot see the chat box, I'll I'll raise the question here. So uh, it's from Annie Zhang from IJ. So he she said, "Hi Jesse, what's the differences between the UK government's daily briefing and the US briefing by Trump, according to you? Your observations? Did you notice any? Yeah." I haven't <clears throat> actually I haven't really seen any of the UK uh, daily briefings. Um, I because of time because of time zone problems, right? Uh, I used to I previously I watched um, the New York Governor Cuomo his briefings and the uh, the Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau his briefings, um, and the it, I used to watch the Trump ones live and then it just got too much. Uh, and then I would watch the ones from Trudeau and, or Cuomo, and it was like, it, it felt amazing because, like, wow, they're actually honestly answering questions, and they're and they're showing, they're showing sympathy, and they're uh, giving concrete plans and uh, apologizing if things went wrong, and being a lot more uh, a lot more honest and upfront, and never you know attacking journalists. It was just like night and day. Uh, watching those kind of briefings compared to the Trump, the, the Trump task force briefings. Um, but then, you know, to some extent, other than the Trump part of this current of the American briefings, they're quite similar in a way, but whenever he got up on stage that, that, that changed things quite a lot. So um, I'm not sure about the British ones, but the, I mean, they're, they're, a, my impression from what I've read is they're, a, they're a bit more a lying, and hiding things than other places are right um you know the the uk said that they tested more than a hundred thousand people in a day when actually it was only like seventy thousand tests but they had mailed out a bunch of tests so they counted that and they said hey we passed our goal and so they're you know they're lying and they're trying to spin um probably just like anybody else like Chris Cuomo and Trudeau are trying to do it too but it's just that the tone is very different and the amount of sympathy you get is quite different so I think that's the biggest differences but I'm not sure about the UK one